I shall continue the problems today. First problem I had taken regarding application of Laplace transform to the algebraic term that is 2 t square plus 3 t minus 4. Today let me continue the problems that is exponential term, trigonometric function and the product of trigonometric functions and some other properties of Laplace transform. Now when we apply the Laplace transform on this exponential term that is I will be taking it as a second problem that is 2 times e to the power minus 3 t and minus of 4 times e to the power 5 t. So, that linearity property will be coming into the picture then what we have to do is we have to apply a Laplace transform operator to each term that is 2 it is a constant and minus 4 it is also a constant then we have to apply Laplace transform to each term and then it uh, transform this 2 will be written outside the Laplace transform operator and Laplace transform operator will be applied to the exponential term that should be that is L of 2 L of 2 e to the power minus 3 t and the problem is like this minus 4 e to the power that is 5 t. Here linearity property what I was mentioning to each term Laplace transform operator is to be applied that is equal to 2 times L of e to the power minus 3 t minus 4 times L of e to the power 5 t should be 2 times e to the power minus 3 t that is e to the power minus a t in, in my previous lecture I had given the derivation for exponential term that must be 1 divided by s plus 3 when there is a minus sign you have to put it as plus sign and minus 4 e to the power that is 5 t takes 1 divided by should be s minus 5 when there is a plus sign you have to put it as minus sign when there is a minus sign you have to put it as plus sign this is regarding individual Laplace transform for exponential term then the next problem is L of sin square a t that means like trigonometric functions with uh, first degree trigonometric function with second degree trigonometric functions with third degree and so on and there onwards the product in between these trigonometric functions especially for sin and cos because most of the engineering applications we come across for the application of Laplace transform only for periodic functions in most of the cases we come across these periodic functions those periodic functions in trigonometry functions trigonometric functions we come across sin and cosine trigonometric functions because they satisfy the condition of periodic function that is sin of 360 plus theta is equal to sin theta and cos of 360 plus theta is equal to cos theta these two trigonometric functions uh, will satisfy the one cycle of operation that is the amplitude as 360 degrees so only sin and cosine will act as uh, periodic functions with this angle that is 360 degrees now l of the problem is l of sin square L of sin square at. <coughs> Here the question is second degree of trigonometric function. What we have to do is we have derived the formula for L of sin of at that means sin takes first degree, but this has to be reduced to the first degree. Then we go for use of sin square in terms of first degree. We, we take the help of the formula cos of 2a is equal to 1 minus. 2 it is sin square a because you know that cos 2a will be explained in three different forms that is cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 cos sin square a and 2 cos square a minus 1 and cos square a minus sin square a. So, one among the three formulas which is suitable for this sin square that we define because it is defined in three forms one among them is matching with this then sin square we have to separate from this this implies sin square a is equal to that should be 1 minus cos 2 a and divided by 2. Here in our present case that a is equal to capital A is equal to small a. Therefore, this Laplace transform L of sin square a t is equal to 
L of 1 minus cos 2 a t and divided by that is 2 sin square that means second degree is taken in terms of first degree, but sin is changed to cos function. Now, there are two terms inside the Laplace transform application we come across one is constant and another one is variable function. First term is I write like this 1 by 2 outside and then Laplace transform of 1 minus same 1 by 2 outside Laplace transform of cos 2 a t. Then to write the final step as a result this is Laplace transform of constant and Laplace transform of variable function. Therefore, that is 1 by 2 we take the help of L of k when k is equal to 1 that must be 1 divided by s minus 1 by 2 L of cos 2 a t means that must be s divided by s square and plus of that is cos e s t in place of. So, that one cos k t otherwise cos e a t that must be 2 times a whole square this becomes finally 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by s and minus s divided by should be s square plus 4 a square. This is the final answer for this step that is L of sin square a t. Then next term cos of cube a t <coughs> cos cube a t this is with the third degree term that is also to be reduced to the first degree because we do not have the formula immediately to reduce or to write the answer for this L of cos cube a t. Then we take the help of uh, the formula that is cos 3 a is equal to uh, on a 3 cos a minus 4 cos cube a that formula will be rewritten and it will be written in that in this form like that is 1 by 4 that is 1 by 4 L of cos 3 a t minus 3 cos a t that means individual term I hope you can understand this term that is L of cos 3 a t is equal to s divided by s square plus 9 a square that is the first term you can see in the denominator this is the term we got and uh, 3 times cos a t will be written as that is s divided by s square plus a square. After taking the LCM from these two Laplace transform operators you will get the answer like s into that is s square plus 7 a, a square and a square plus 9 a square into a square plus a square that means individual term Laplace transform is applied and then we took the LCM and finally we brought that answer to this form. Then L of sin the product is L of sin phi t and cos 3 t. So, we have the formula that is product of uh, sin function and cos function that is sin a into cos b formula which we have to take and uh, here that is sin of a plus b and plus of sin of a minus b that is sin of a plus b is phi plus 3 that is sin of 8 t and making it square the you will be getting s square plus 64 and sin of a minus b that is phi minus 3 t that phi minus 3 t will be taken as that is 2 t sin 2 t the Laplace transform individual term application gives sin 2 t is equal to 2 divided by a square plus 4 that happens to be the second uh, term in the denominator as a product of two quadratic functions. First quadratic function is a square plus 64 and second quadratic function is a square plus 4. After taking the LCM between these two uh, denominators you will get that is 5 into s square plus 16 and next is cos cos hyperbolic square a t that is also to be taken because cos hyperbolic square and uh, uh, that that must be explained in terms of first degree that is also to be taken it is 1 1 plus of cos hyperbolic 2 a t divided by 2. So, only we have written that 1 by 2 outside and similarly that this that case is similar to this one, but for ordinary functions there is a minus sign, but for this function that is cos hyperbolic function cos hyperbolic function you will get plus sign. The formula which you have discussed already in 11th and 12th class uh, syllabus uh, when you proved this uh, when you studied this trigonometric functions this is for the ordinary trigonometric function and the present one this is for hyperbolic function for ordinary it will be minus sign in between two terms, but for this one you have derived it as plus sign. Then the first term for uh, application of Laplace transform that is L of 1 you will be getting it as 1 by s 
and L of cos hyperbolic to A t is equal to S divided by S square minus 4 A square. In my previous class, previous discussion I had discussed about the derivation of cos hyperbolic uh, A t that is the result S divided by S square minus A square. In place of A here we have in place of A here we have that is 2 A then that 2 A making square you will be getting it as that is 4 A square and the after the after taking Laplace transform to individual term then 1 by s into s square minus 4 a square LCM will be product of these two terms and the numerator simplification comes out to be s square minus 2 a square. Then the, this is the problem which I, I shall explain in detail because this is a product of three different terms one is cos 1 into t second one is cos 2 into t and next one is cos 3 into that is t earlier to that. Uh, the formula which already we discussed about uh, L of uh, sin into cos that means L of sin into cos means product of sin and cos two different trigonometric functions. But here the case we have same trigonometric functions with the different angles that is cos t and then cos 2 t and then cos 3 t. What you have to do is uh, in this case you can select any two terms among these three terms either you can group that is cos 2 t and then cos 3 t apply the formula which are whichever the formula already you have derived well, that formula says like this that is cos a into cos b should be uh, is equal to 1 by 2 cos summation plus cos difference summation means it, it refers to two different angles that is uh, 2 t and then 3 t and you will be getting like uh, cos 5 t and then 2 minus of 3 t that I shall write those uh, details here. Uh, with the help of uh, the previously derived formula it goes like this L of cos t cos 2 t and then cos 3 t. You have the option you can uh, take any one of three options there are three options this problem gives one option is first term into second term as a product keep this term outside another option is second term and then third term keep this first term outside and last option is first term and third term also you can multiply and apply the formula. You have the formula that is cos A into cos B is equal to 1 by 2 that is cos summation means cos A plus B and plus of cos it is A minus B. Then we use for product of two terms by choosing any two terms among these three terms. Let me take L of this is equal to L of cos t I will keep outside and between these two terms cos summation A is equal to 2 t and then B is equal to 3 t. That means I take summation between these two angles then cos of phi t outside divided by 2 this is 1 by 2 I am keeping like this and plus of cos of that is 2 minus 3 t cos of 2 minus 3 t. So, there are two brackets still I still this cos t is outside. So, we have to take this one cos phi t plus value you are getting and cos of 2 minus 3 t cos of 2 minus 3 t that is uh, 2 minus 3 t outside that gives cos of minus 1 into t. You know the formula according to ASTC rule in the trigonometry what is the value of this cos of minus theta because ASTC rule according to this one cos of minus theta comes to be in the fourth quadrant and cos of plus theta comes to be in the first quadrant. In the first quadrant you know that all are positive. This comes to the last quadrant this explains already you know the meaning about this all students take coffee that means here cos and its reciprocal are positive and rest of the trigonometric functions are negative. So, that cos of uh, minus of theta is equal to plus cos theta therefore, we must write that is equal to 1 by 2 L of cos t inside the bracket cos phi t 
and plus cos of t that is the final term and it is to be multiplied with cos t again to release this product. Let me do like this 1 by 2 L of cos t cos of phi t one product and plus of cos of t takes multiplication that is cos square t is there. Again first term happens to be the product with the different angles. Then one more time I will take the help of this formula that is 1 by 2 L of between these two terms 1 by 2 again same type of formula you must apply should be cos of 1 plus phi that means t plus phi t you are getting it as 60. This must be cos summation plus cos difference and minus that is 1 by 2 and cos difference that is cos of 1 t minus phi t that also happens to be minus 40 that is cos of minus 40 I will write like this. Then all these terms both the terms are multiplied by 1 by 2 as well as this is second degree immediately previous problem I had explained when second degree was reduced to the first degree because we do not have the formula which is derived in the ready form which we can apply Laplace transform to this cos square t. So, that we have to reduce this cos square into the first degree term in whichever the form it, it happens because another formula is cos 2 a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. We take the help by rewriting this one, we separate this cos square cos square a that goes like this is equal to 1 plus cos 2 a and divided by 2. I take the help of that formula plus of 1 by 2, 1 plus cos of that is 2 a that is cos of 2 t divided by 2. In both the cases we have that uh, divided by 2 here, divided by 2 here. So, this is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 here and 1 by 2. Together I can write it as 1 by 8 outside then Laplace transform of cos 60 one term and minus sign that is cos 60 cos of minus, minus sign 1 by 2 sorry this is plus sign then cos of this is also plus theta and cos of 40 and plus of 1 because I, I have taken this 1 by 2 outside and plus of cos of 2 t. There are no similar uh, uh, terms that means with the same angle this is cos 60 this is cos 40 and this is cos 2 t and 1. So, all the three with though they are with the different angles, but degree is 1 here this degree is 1. What we did from this problem is this is cos t cos 2 t cos 3 t was a product then we separated and we put it in the form of uh, summation of three different terms with first degree of cos function. So, now you are ready to apply the formula whatever that L of cos 80 is there that formula we are going to apply to the individual term except this constant. Therefore, 1 by 8 L of cos 60 means S divided by S square plus of A square, A square means 6 square that is 64 and plus of another term cos 40 S divided by S square that is written here the answer is 4 square this one second term S square plus 16 4 square means 16 and plus of this is 1 you can treat this one as k equal to 1 that should be 1 by s and plus of cos 2 t s divided by s square plus 2 square that must be 4. So, all those three terms are there if you want you can move further uh, taking LCM and then you can write but not necessary when once you have written all these terms with uh, by writing this one I hope uh, here uh, the denominator that is to be corrected that is 1 by 8 and this is the answer for the product of these three terms that is in terms of cos function. So, whenever you talk about the product of uh, trigonometric functions then as it is we do not have the ready formula 
we have to reduce the product of two terms or three terms or four terms like that or the higher degree of these trigonometric functions with uh, first degree then only we can apply Laplace transform that is the concept that you have to learn. Next is similarly you can uh, solve the problem by assuming that is L of sin t, sin 2 t, sin 3 t even L of cos t and then sin square t, L of sin square t into cos t like the different cases which you can discuss. Now another case I am going to take like L of a to the power t this is a special problem also L of a to the power t here you must be very careful while uh, analyzing the problem because normally in mathematics what happens uh, if you understand the problem and the given type of uh, statement I am sure that it will be the 50 percent of the solution of the problem normally this is the general slogan in mathematics we always remember. Here the important thing is a to the power t though it looks to be very simple term but the variable appears as power and the base is constant. Was it the variable base was variable and the power as constant then you have the algebraic term like uh, L of t to the power n the in the previous lecture we have derived that uh, result like t to the power n, n factorial divided by s to the power n plus 1 but here a to the power t is there base is constant and power is that is variable that means you have to write its value still remains to be same and we have to rearrange according to the term where Laplace transform can be matching to apply the corresponding formula. Yes what we have to do this one should be explained in terms of exponential e to the power log a to the power t here this is supposed to be e to the power that is log a whole to the power t because the formula in the logarithm says e to the power log x anyway this log is in the natural logarithms then that is equal to x only therefore e to the power log a t is the same as a to the power t then this is another formula log m whole to the power n is equal to n log m is there therefore these two these two introductions we see in this step so that we can get it as L of that is in the numerator that is e to the power t log a e to the power t log a how we are going to sort out this problem that means how we are going to understand the problem uh, to match with the uh, derived formula L of e to the power a t is equal to that means L of e to the power log a and multiplied by t to match with this formula which you are going to write it as the answer that means L of e to the power a t is equal to 1 divided by s minus a already we have derived this formula uh, second term is a constant that is multiplied to the variable here then log a the whole thing will become as the coefficient to t therefore 1 divided by s minus this constant that is log a this is the answer for that particular problem. Then <coughs> next is uh, you will uh, come across the cases because varieties of problems which you have to solve then only more perfection you are getting the application of the formulas. The next case which I am going to uh, take up is basic definition of Laplace transform how it goes basic definition for uh, different uh, intervals when they are given that means L of f t which is to be explained in two different uh, limits one limit that is between 0 to 3 and another limit is that is 3 onwards but the maximum limit for the Laplace transform definition is infinity then we have to place these two values between two separate integrals because first function f t we call it as uh, splitting for two different uh, functional values one is f of t is equal to 2 and the another one is f of t is equal to t then we have to solve these two integrals between the corresponding limits first limit corresponding limit means first function is given as 2 defines in the interval that is 0 to 3 and second function uh, given as the functional value as t but defined t is greater than 3 and the maximum limit is that is to infinity. I will rewrite this uh, statement 
whatever uh, uh, basic definition is to be applied in two different uh, types of limits that is L of f t is equal to you have 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t f t d t. This is our uh, basic definition. Yes, this limit is between 0 to infinity, but the present case takes for two different limits should be one is 0 to that is 3 e to the power minus s t and in place of f t the first term is 2 so that d t and plus 3 onwards maximum limit is infinity because according to definition you have to place that 3 as the lower limit here and uh, e to the power minus s t another function that is t it is given then it is d t. You have to do these two integrals with your basic knowledge of integration. The first is direct integration no other formula you are going to apply except uh, taking 2 outside and uh, e to the power 0 to 3 e to the power minus s t d t and plus of this is variable and also this is the variable function. In the first integral, in the first integral it is not happened, at, happened as the product of uh, uh, variable and then variable function, but in the second uh, integral product of algebraic term and then exponential term. So, both are variable terms therefore, you cannot write directly, but you have to apply the integration by parts formula that is first function algebraic term as I told you already in my previous discussion always algebraic term is to be chosen as the first function for differentiation because after the successive differentiation the term uh, power goes on vanishing. Therefore, first function and this is second function you cannot choose this as second fu first function and this as second function what happens when you choose like that because normally in every problem you have to think in opposite way why this uh, step is taken or why this procedure is taken and why not another procedure uh, uh, can be applied uh, cannot be applied like uh, to handle the product situation because if you take like this yeah in place of this first function if you choose this as uh, first function and this as second function for example you can see practically you will never get the answer you will never get the answer means the power is already one when you go on integrating by choosing according to the formula the powers power of that t will goes on increasing it is not going to be vanished but exponential uh, term either for differentiation or for integration any number of times if you uh, do the process uh, the differentiation that means totally calculus we can say that function is supposed to be the repeating function so that that is also not going to be convergent therefore you have to be very careful because the reason behind it the derivation of uh, integration between product of two terms is only this much logarithmic functions and uh, hyperbolic uh, uh, sorry algebraic terms and inverse functions wherever they occur immediately we take the application of this uh, product of two terms means integration by parts comfortably in order to release this product. Therefore, we strictly you have to take this as first term and this as second term therefore, first function into integral of second function that is between a 3 to infinity minus integral of differential of first function that is 1 into integration of second function e to the power and into integral means that is minus s and here also minus s and this is 3 to infinity and this is d t here 2 times e to the power minus s t divided by minus s and 0 to 3 and there is a minus sign of course, we have to apply the limits t is equal to infinity that is once again e to the power minus infinity that becomes 0 in the derivation already we have understood in detail regarding e to the power minus infinity y that is 0. Then uh, t equal to lower limit you are going to apply this already minus sign is there and lower limit when you are applying one more minus sign according to the rule you have to assign and makes it as plus sign then 3 in place of t that is e to the power minus of 3 s and divided by s that is completed upper limit that becomes 0 and for lower limit only the term exists and next is minus into minus plus sign 
that is 1 by s without any hesitation you can write that 1 by s outside because it is nothing to do with the uh, integration when you are doing with respect to t because actual uh, as a specific uh, symbol that t acts as a variable but in that case s acts as constant. So, that we have to take only the exponential term e to the power minus s t divided by minus e s once again that is 3 to infinity. Finally, that is minus 2 by e s here and e to the power minus 3 s you are replacing t is equal to 3 and uh, t equal to 0 minus minus that is 1 by s because e to the power t equal to 0 s into 0 that becomes 0 e to the power 0 is 1 and uh, minus but you are applying this lower limit lower limit as 0 then one more minus sign has to be taken that becomes as minus sign here and plus 3 by s e to the power minus 3 s <coughs> and t is equal to infinity here also e to the power minus infinity comes that becomes 0 then plus of become plus of 1 by s into 0 and minus that is uh, e to the power minus 3 s and divided by that is minus e s. You can check all these uh, substitutions wherever t is there you have to replace by the upper limit and also by the lower limit for the lower limit you must multiply by minus sign according to the rule. Then minus 2 by e s multiplied by that is e to the power minus 3 s minus 1 by s and plus of 3 by e s and e to the power minus 3 s minus 3 s and this minus this minus becomes plus sign 1 divided by s square and e to the power minus 3 s. This may be the answer or even uh, here also you can go for the uh, collecting the coefficients uh, the of the like terms like e to the power minus 3 s is the e to the power minus 3 s and e to the power minus 3 s and this is the only term extra that is not multiplied by exponential term. So, this may be the answer. Then similarly another uh, problem another problem there are three functions defined and you have to go for three different integrals one more uh, integral in this case you will find as second degree that means first degree uh, as the second function f of t is equal to t uh, runs between 2 to 4 and f of t is equal to 1 runs between 0 to 2 and f of t is equal to t square runs between 4 and the maximum limit that maximum limit is infinity. I uh, will just give the hints about this uh, type of writing in the step. In that case same definition again we are going to use and the three different uh, uh, terms which we have to specify according to the given function that is 0 to here 2, 0 to 2 1 limit. I will write that f of uh, e to the power minus e s t f of t as 1 multiplied by and d t plus of the middle function that is f of t is equal to t runs between uh, 2 to 4 we write e to the power minus e s t that is t d t and plus of 4 to infinity e to the power minus e s t the term is t square then it is d t easily you can notice with the knowledge of the previous problem solution the first term is in place of f t you have 1 in place of f t in the second integral as t in place of f t the third integral takes the function to be replaced by t square. Therefore, here first integral directly can be solved and second integral integration by product you have to apply once again that is t as first function and here algebraic term as first function and this is second function directly if you write e to the power minus e s t divided by minus e s defines in the interval 0 to 2 and plus of t into e to the power minus e s t divided by minus e s 2 to 4 and minus at once if I write because already you have solved this problem differentiation integral of differential of first function that is first function is t integral of differential of first function t with respect to t is 1 and twice integration this becomes e to the power minus e s t 
and divided by s square with plus sign runs between 2 to 4 and plus of this gives 3 terms because integration by parts is to be applied uh, 3 times totally that is first term integration and e to the power minus s t by minus s and uh, that is between 4 to infinity minus integral of differential of first function that is 2 t 2 t under the integral sign that is 4 to infinity and e to the power minus s t divided by minus s. So, like this one more time you have to integrate that is similar to the first one otherwise whatever this uh, terms are there already you did it in uh, uh, first degree of t and then exponential term same terms you can replace that is what uh, the solution here it is written first term and then doing some simplifications 1 by s and then 1 by s plus 1 by s square into e to the power minus 2 s t and then e to the power minus 4 s because the 4 happens to be the limit and the common uh, coefficients we have taken. Here after understanding few cases like this then we have to understand 3 important properties in uh, Laplace transform one is shifting property, second one is derivative property and third one is integral property. Here let me discuss with the shifting property. Shifting property says like this when the function in the Laplace transform definition is multiplied by exponential term e to the power L of e to the power a t multiplied by f t is equal to f of s minus a. How we are getting this value let me explain. I told you that there are three important properties L of e to the power a t f t is equal to f of s minus a and here if it you take like plus minus and here minus plus you are getting opposite type of that one this is the property. Here this e happens to be e to the power plus a t e to the power plus a t into f t is equal to f of s minus a that means you have to observe when plus is there here it is minus but how this product comes according to the definition of Laplace transform let me explain like this L of f of t the basic definition is like this 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t f t d t. The application of this uh, the basic definition to the product exponential here only single function is there f of t is there this is the definition when it is multiplied by e to the power a t and then f of t that is equal to you have to replace whatever this total quantity is there under the integral sign as it is therefore 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t and e to the power a t and then f t. So, product of 3 terms you have but coincidentally these two terms are having the same base same base means exponential as the base therefore this must be 0 to infinity base is same powers can be added e to the power minus t you can take common then s minus a and then f of t therefore l of e to the power a t and then f of t is equal to this one. What we have to understand here the simple uh, rearrangement simple rearrangement when this definition is there finally in the first uh, uh, concept itself when once we defined that is Laplace transform definition this integration when once performed you are getting the answer as function of s function of s observe this definition and the symbol which we are going to assign because t with respect to t when you integrate t takes the lower limit 0 and t takes the upper limit as infinity that means that variable t is completely eliminated because this is a definite integral when t is eliminated the remaining terms are only in the form of yes a, a good example is l of uh, sin a t for example that is s divided by s square plus a square here left side is t is there but right side without t this is the main thing which plays a major role like 
Laplace transform we call it as a direct Laplace transform applied to the terms which contain t as the variable and the results which you are getting as function of s function of s when once you apply Laplace transform since it is a definite integral that in that definite integral on uh, after the performance of integration is completed then t will not be there but s must be there and if you shift this operator for example if you shift this operator you will get right side l inverse in next uh, one or two lectures i am going to explain about these things that is l inverse that means we write in the reverse order now we are writing from lhs to rhs is when we are given that con uh, uh, cases which contain t as the variable application of laplace gives the answer in terms of yes then this is function of yes presently we are doing this okay now in place of yes here everything is okay except in place of yes if you observe the definition probably i can name it as equation 1 and this is equation 2 this is called shifting property when exponential term is multiplied to the main function that is f of t fine here s is there we are written f of s in the similar way if you observe here e to the power minus t e to the power minus t and f of t is there f of t is there that is also dt and here and then in place of s here function of s minus a instead of writing f of s you have to write f of s minus a otherwise otherwise replace s by s minus a when exponential term is multiplied this is called shifting property and also we name this one as first shifting property so that cases which you are going to discuss for example immediately the first example let me take e to the power e a t into t to the power n this in this case what we what we are to consider like so e to the power a t that is t to the power n here that is equal to f s i treat then e to the power a t into t to the power n is equal to n factorial divided by s, s minus a to the power n plus 1 how you are getting this value using this formula this is your formula because in many of the engineering problems when we are solving differential equations using laplace transform you uh, already I told you that you will come across the constant terms you will come across exponential terms you will come across trigonometric functions you will come across algebraic terms and you will co come across product of uh, these terms sometimes it depends on the nature of the problem according to the application problem the term is going to exist then for example in the case of uh, product of exponential and uh, another function then we have to take this is a uh, function of s and this is function of s minus a similarly similarly l of e to the power minus a t e of t is equal to directly you can write here plus sign is there a t then you are writing minus when minus is there you have to write it as f of s plus a now i will use this concept to, to study this problem then l of e to the power a t into t to the power n i will compare this e to the power a t into f of t that is all l of e to the power a t into t to the power n is equal to in place of t to the power n is equal to f of t. So, from where you got this uh, f of s means l of f t here in this case f t I am choosing f t I am choosing t to the power n let me take it separately consider f of t is equal to t to the power n now first you obtain the value of applying Laplace transform to this selected uh, function and get the value and uh, decide that uh, value as uh, Laplace transform application for this selected function that is L of f t is equal to L of t to the power n. This is already the standard result you have derived this is the algebraic term and you have n factorial over s to the power n plus 1 already we have derived this formula. So, this I am treating as function of s I hope you can understand because your doubt may be like this when we are writing this f s there we did not write why we are writing here the every result whatever you are derived as list of elementary Laplace transforms all of them on the right side you can without any hesitation you can write them as function of s right side 
irrespective of the constant whatever it appears like uh, in the trigonometric function as a or k or any other symbol whatever they give. But mainly we look for left side variable as t and when once we shift this right side then s becomes the variable t becomes the constant in that case the uh, so only then we have to write that is f of s then this f of s is e f of s is to be applied for the multiplication of exponential term that becomes l of e to the power a t is equal to same thing you have to write s to be replaced as s minus a n factorial and divided by s to the power uh, n plus 1 should be written s minus a whole to the power n plus 1 that is it that is the answer that means wherever s is there you have to write replacing s by s minus a application of shifting property. For example, if you have minus sign then you will get s plus a whole to the power n plus 1. So, when one once you come across one case you think in the opposite direction another case how it, it is going to happen by the application of that formula. With this any questions are there you can uh, ask that.